Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another episode of Learning Cello with Vessi. My name is Vessi, your host. This is Mr. Cello. And today we're learning a beautiful romantic song by Frank Sinatra for all of you beginner level players. Before we start this lesson, in the description box down below, you will find the link to my sheet music store where you can purchase the sheet music for this tune and many more. Also, you will find the link to the full musical video and all my social media in case after this you would like to see some more content from me. The song which we are learning today is called Strangers in the Night and is in the key of F major. This song is perfect for beginner level players because most of it is solely played on the string D and we go up to fourth position, not higher. So that's why I do recommend it for you. It's easy and also it's a beautiful tune. We start in first position. With your second finger we're going to start with the note F on the D string. In the same bow we're going to have two notes. It's going to be F and G. Second finger, fourth finger. On the next up bow, we have G to F, again slurred together. And then the third note is going to be G on a down bow. So the first bar has to sound like this. On the second bar we have again F, but this time we have to go to our second position. So wherever was standing your F with second finger, remember this place and just replace it with your first finger instead. Then we play the notes F, G and A on the same bow. We're going to have three notes on the bow, so make sure that you ration the bow. First finger for F, second finger for G, this is going to be extended second finger. And then fourth finger for A. So on the up bow it has to sound like this. G, A. On the down bow we have a single G with second finger. And with first finger we have a single F. The first two bars have to sound like this. we are in our second position. We need to reverse our hand back to first position. For the third bar we're going to play note E with first finger on the D string. And then we have E and F on the same bow slurred. On the next up bow we have F to E. And then a single F on the down bow. On the next up bow we have E, F, G, again on the same bow, so ration your bow, E with first finger, F with second finger, G with fourth finger. It has to sound like this. Next we have a single F on a down bow, a single E on a up bow with first finger. And the third sequence starts from the open D string. We have open D to E with first finger again on the same bow. On the up bow E back to D. And then again E with first finger. On the up bow again three notes D, E, F. Open string, E with first finger, F with second finger. And then E for a down bow with first finger, open string on a up bow. And this sequence ends with the note B with second finger on fourth position on the D string. Use the time in which you are playing the open D on a up bow to move your hand from first position to fourth position. It has to sound like this. And this is the end of the whole first sequence. Essentially think of it like this. The three sequences are exactly the same. Bowing wise and progression wise they are exactly the same. The only thing which you change is that you move it one note back each time. So we start first from F, then the next time we start from E and the third time we start from D. 
Let's try it from the beginning together under a metronome. same progression and bowing we ended up on fourth position the note B with second finger and this second sequence starts from third position so reverse your hand from the fourth position back to third position with first finger this is going to be the note G you can check your G with the open G string we have on the down bow G to A, first to third finger, on the up bow, third to first finger, A to G, single A on the down bow with third finger, on the up bow we have G, A, B, this is going to be first, third, fourth finger, on the down bow with third finger A, first finger G, then reverse to second position with the first finger, this is going to be the note F. Here we have F to G, first with extended second after this. If this is too much extension for you, you can replace your second with your third. So play it either first to third or first second extended. On the up bow G to F, F on the single down bow, on the up bow F, G, A, first, extended second, fourth. So if until here you have been playing first to third, make sure that now you replace that third with extended second on the up bow, so you can catch that A with fourth finger. So we have F with first finger, G with second finger, and A with fourth finger. On the down bow, second for G, first for F, and reverse one more time, back to first position, E, F, first to second, F to E, second to first, F on the down bow, on the up bow, E, F, G, first finger, second, fourth finger, second for F, E with first finger, and here we have another jump back to fourth position. This time we jump from E to fourth position with the fourth finger, this is going to be the note C. I do advise you to practice this jump separately. If jumping from first to fourth position is still not available for you, then another possibility is actually to stay in first position and play this C with second finger on the A string. Now let's try the whole second sequence together under a metronome. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
last sequence to learn. It's a little bit longer but uh, it's the last one so bear with me. We start in fourth position with fourth finger the note C. Two notes on each bow. We're gonna have C to B fourth finger to second finger. Then on the up bow we have B to A second to first finger. On the down bow we have single A with first finger. On the up bow we have one single B and then on the next down bow we have B to C, second to fourth finger. And then on the next up bow C to B, fourth to second finger. Second to first, B to A. A little bit confusing, all of those notes kind of sound the same. What I do recommend you is to get the sheet music and there you can just follow the notes. So let's repeat it from the beginning because it was a little bit confusing even for me. <laughs> we start in fourth position, C to B, B to A, single A with first finger, single B with second finger, B to C, C to B, B and A on single bows. Then this sequence we repeat it one more time, exactly same. After the repetition we have B to A second with first finger. On the next bow we go to third position, so where your A stands, replace it with your third finger. So instead of first finger, we replace it with third finger and we play A to G, third to first finger. A single G with first finger. Then on the up bow we have again B with your fourth finger, A with third, third to first, A to G. G with first finger, then fourth to third, B to A, third to first, A to G. Then on the next bow we have first finger G, two jumping to first position with second finger F. This is a good opportunity for you to practice your third position to first position. <laughs> If you do not want to have a jump in the same bow, there is one other solution. Instead of playing G, F with first and second, you can actually exchange this first finger directly for fourth finger. How it's going to sound is B to A, A to G. And here you have the option to directly switch from your first finger to fourth finger. That depends on you. In that case, you're going to have on one bow G to F already on first position. The next two notes are separate, E and F, first and second finger. After this we jump to extended second position with our fourth finger we're going to catch the note A. Check with open A if you like. And then we have fourth to second, A to G. Second to first, extended second finger to first finger, G to F. And jump back to first position, F to E. On separate bows, D and E. Phew, that was a lot. But now I have good news for you. We are very, very close to the end. All we need to do is repeat the very start. Let's try it from the beginning, under a metronome. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Now I have very good news for you and the good news is that all we need to do to finish this whole song is repeat the first part again. So we repeat from the beginning F G G F on a single G with, with fourth finger replace the F with first finger for second position F G A first second fourth single G single F E F F E F on a single bow E F G on the one bow single F single E D E E D difference on the um bow we play E F G single F with second finger single E with first finger and on the down bow we finish on the root note with second finger it's the note F the second time we have the verse and the chorus, it's essentially a repetition of the whole thing. Now, in the original, when the repetition comes, I do repeat it one octave higher. I go here on the A string. But if you're a beginner, I would still suggest that you stick with the first position. Just repeat it one more time and you will have the whole song down. For those of you who are intermediate level players and already have a little knowledge on thumb position and higher than fourth position, then I would suggest that you get the sheet music and attempt to play it on your own. You guys know at the end of the lesson, we try to play it from the beginning together under a metronome. We start with 60 BPM. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
congratulations! This is the end of the song and you made it until the end! Yay! <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos from me, please do consider giving this video a like and also consider subscribing to my channel because that really helps uh, to keep this channel up and running. If you would like to purchase the sheet music for this tune, again, the link to my sheet music store will be in the description down below. All of your purchases go straight into supporting me being able to make more of those videos. If this is for some reason not enough for you and you would like to see some more different type of content from me like pictures and stories and stuff like that, my Instagram, my Facebook and a bunch of other social media links will be listed in the description down below. That was all from me, thank you guys for staying until the end, I hope you have a nice day and bye! Mwah.